this is Olekius, and welcome back to another episode of Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts, where we're looking at the power of Dreadnoughts in the Naval Academy, where we're going to destroy two powerful Dreadnoughts with old battleships. Got 70 million to make our battleship. Z Not sure how many that'll be, and we're going to fight two battleships, two hours. Uh, we have a choice. We can take 25 million extra for a total of 95 million. Or, which is more likely, we'll take the technology, thank you. Which is a whopping plus 15 to gun layout, small and big guns, control station. Oh yeah, we're definitely taking that. Turret mechanisms, plus 7 to armor, plus 5 to engines and boilers. Interline mounts for large guns, side mounts, superimposed mounts. Oh, yeah. Gun aiming speed way faster. Gun accuracy 33%. Like, th is this even a choice? I, mean, I suppose you can make like 20 micro dreadnoughts or something. I mean, the, the, we're going to be fighting two modern dreadnoughts and we're. Pretty much fighting them with dreadnoughts. So we have our three hulls. Looking at the stats, we have better all around on the battleship two hull, to be expected. We're gonna max it out. We're going to do 23 knots, we're going to maximize the bulkheads, turbines, oil, force, max armor, max protection, not much underwater protection. Go with the heavy. Oh, no power. A powder. Lame. And regular 15 inch torpedoes. All right. Got our main tower, secondary two for the aim speed. Yep. Our aiming uh, basic bonus. Oh, we don't get superimposed. Our thing say superimposed. Oh well. We have 15 inch Mark 1s or 14 inch Mark 3s. Like, that's not even a choice. Skip the 15 inch. Red herring. Do our triples. Cannot fit a second one back there. Can we do a 9 inch? No. And we do an 8 inch. Uh, 7 inch. Plus uh, inch. Okay, there we go. Why is it offset to the forward? Oh, oh, okay. Might have to downsize the forward dirt. Throw in our casemates, which we have. We can do up to seven, actually. Yep, mark three, so we're good. We're gonna have a few sixes. And we'll have our standard five. Then we'll switch back to our secondaries, and we'll do threes, there and there, there and correction, there.
Not crazy, am I? We, we were fitting them on both sides of this bridge wing. Just a couple episodes ago. Whatever, we'll do a four. I'll mix match these all day long. Our forward offset is still pretty bad. So let's look at doing a 12 inch on the front. Let's look at doing a 10 inch on the front. Such a mish mish mash of various turrets. And we have sixes here, so let's not do that. Put our 14 back. Slide that back. Throw in a single torpedo launcher. We can probably stick something back here. Thing is, we got all of the various calibers covered. Be duplicating it, and I've seen a malice for that. I'm reluctant to put uh, any secondaries there. We're overweight. Who oh, knows? Most important is we have a lot of guns on the field. Could do it by just sacrificing the bulkheads. Hate to do that method, but. Is what it is. We do have some extra money because getting us down to four. You know what? We can get down to four. Especially if I we sacrifice some of the protection. Go to standard maybe. I think we can make that money stretch much further, especially since we need more funnels. Actually, we just need a second one. We have our 23 knots. Last can we go for go twenty three and a half. We're not going to because of the cost. We have a little bit of weight to play with. Tempted to sacrifice the deck. Pump up belt extended. We have crop four, so that's twenty, twelve, four, two. 20, 20, 4, good values, go for total protection with the belt extended, and I think that's the ship we're going to use, we'll have four of these. More uniform main armament, not a Franken armament, although we still have seven sixes, fives, fours, and threes. Every caliber feels like, not quite, put a two back here. I'm not doing it. There's no reason. Our four against their two. 
Okay, San Fernando. Let me get you to join that one. Get you guys into a tighter formation. Is there a coincidence rangefinder? I feel like... Wow. We, we go without. That's gonna hurt. Back into it. We have four in a line. Alright. That'll do. Go with times three speed this time. See if the structure is working this time. No crashes. I have a feeling it has to do with the torpedoes. I mean, not torpedoes. The transports. For whatever reason. We have 5% chance of hitting. At one bounce. have opened up. We're using four triples, all secondaries. We're up to seven and a half. Partial pen. Underneath their number three turret. Couple partial pens. There's a 14 inch head on our gun. Oh, there we go. Mid deck over pen. Quite on fire now. I should switch to HE. Urge that fire. A lot of partial pens. That plus seventy percent, so it's like seventeen inches of of armor. Even at point blank, we're going to be struggling with. Torpedoes. No. Keep pounding with what I assume are armor piercing rounds. We have the advantage right now. Oh, there's a couple penetrations. Bow deck over ex extended and the bow deck or mid deck. Try to funnel as well. Getting some pens with uh, six inch and five inches too. Partial penetrations, not. Not full penetrations. Ooh, that was a good hit. Mid deck penetration. They okay, focused on the target. Oh, they got a couple of penetrations on us.
stay focused on the target. Although they really made up for our advantage with that hit on the San Fernando. Switch to viewing the Leon. Yep, there's another good hit on a couple good hits on the San Fernando. San Fernando will not make it. Ooh, massive flooding. Yeah, at this point we're just pounding each other. Donk. Get the San Fernando detached. We'll operate independently. No, that's that's not what I want, guys. Stay on that one. You will take on that one. There we go. Point blank range. We're looking at 600 yards. Bam is real. There's a torpedo. Yeah, we got this one. Oh, that's a that's a rough hit. San Francisco de Assis. Very hit. Get pointed back in that direction. San Francisco, we're going to separate you. Get you your own target. Let's accelerate to five because this one's over. There's a good hit. Bow penetration. And they sink. And we're good. Mission complete. That was quick and easy. Next mission we have is the battle cruiser versus dreadnought. To beat a heavy battleship with a battle cruiser. Battle cruisers are not supposed to directly confront battleships due to their much lighter armor scheme. However, in this mission, you will have to design a battle cruiser that is powerful enough to destroy a heavily armed dreadnought. You'll have to balance firepower, armor, and speed in such a manner that your ship will be able to outmaneuver the battleship and keep inflicting hits, while evading shell fire that could cause critical damage. Be aware that by increasing the battlecruiser's firepower too much, it may dangerously increase the chance of ammo detonation from a penetrating hit. We get 20 million for one battlecruiser in 80 minutes. We can do firepower, which give us gun layout, turret mechanisms, shells, explosives, small and big guns, and control station. Survivability and maneuverability, armor, armor quality, hull strengthening, internal protection, engines, boilers, special machinery. Not bad. Balanced for small guns, big guns, gun layout, armor quality, hull strengthening, internals, engines, boilers, special machinery. I'm inclined to do and then five million in extra funds. I'm really tempted to just take the armor quality and treat it like another dreadnought. The only one with explosives is going to be the enhanced firepower though, so we're going to do that one. We get our single hull. Single hull. 
want to max it out. Reduce the range, increase the bulkheads. Wow, that's a really thin belt. Give it a battleship belt and see what happens. Go a little light on the deck. Let's see if I can get 10 inches on all the important bits. As if it were a proper battleship. Turrets properly protected. Secondaries can have 2 inches. Alright, see what we can do with this. Multiple expansion steam, that's not great. Get crop 2, that's good. Our bet, not worry about underwater protection. We'll do the reinforced bulkheads and the citadel. Super heavy shells. We will do 5% penetration, 8% damage, less ammo detonation chance. And less hull weight. Two powder has six and a half damage and better reload. Much less ammo detonation chance. Tends to be a little heavy and not much fire. Even better shell damage. An increase in ammo detonation. Seven and a half. White powder I always like is a solid all rounder. L weight, L state, gun cotton's good. Try out that TNT. See how that works out. Do the electro hydro, fully automatic. Fast torpedoes, 18 inch torpedoes. And. Coincidence Rangefinder. <clears throat> We're going to do the advanced tower. Far back as possible. Rear tower, we have base accuracy. Straight line improvements. Take a single funnel right there. You can do up to 14 inch Mark II or 13 inch Mark III's. Marginal reduction in capability or penetration. Pretty significant hit on damage. That's all right. Those will use big barbettes. Come on, there we go. Then back aft. Might tweak exactly where that one is. I don't think we can fit any side guns on this. There's no room anywhere. Uh, could take a smaller tower so we could. I'd hate to sacrifice the damage control and the long range accuracy. We're still going to need funnels anyways. Ace mates are two inches only on dreadnoughts. I mean, battle cruisers. Pick our single token torpedoes for threat.
Here we go. We can ignore exactly where those are. Take a pair of eights. Right there. Oh, some sevens. Sevens back there. Go forward. Ooh, can we fit an eight back there? No. Seven it is. What a six. Put those on the side? No. Put them up forward. What a five. I'm literally gonna do one set of turrets for every caliber. Actually, this probably interfere with the arc of fire for those rear turrets. Well, moving forward. How about some four? Although fours, I I'm losing a lot of respect for fives and above seem to be pretty effective. Oh, we are way over. Way, way over. We can't even begin to afford that. So, let's drop our extra protection. Drop our bulkheads. I don't think dropping the armor will work. Drop our speed. Speaking of which, how is our smoke efficiency? We can do 26. One small enhanced, really expensive. Or we can just double up on the ones we have now. Uh, we can go with. Standard shells doesn't make a huge deal. I'm really loath to give up the automatic. And we can sacrifice a little bit of the armor. I'm also loath to do. Bring the belt extended to two inches. That's a lot of weight. Do I go for the protection scheme, or do I sacrifice that to have some decent armor? A tough choice. I need to save weight. Go back to the multiple expansion. Triple expansion. What speed? It's gonna be slow for a battle cruiser. Don't care. Let's see how she does. What's the worst gonna happen? She fails. Do our triple speed. That seemed to work out well last time. Inch? Oh, right, because they're pointing in the right direction already. About ten and a half kilometers away. 22% malice to accuracy. Three barrel turret tech is not so great. Yeah, I should have gone with doubles. 
paved way that way. We redo this um, mission. That's what we will do. Angle in slightly. Be more favorable for any penetration. This angled armor is thicker armor. Come there, incoming shells. Four percent. There's a hit. Thirteen inch partial pen. Thirteen inch penetration. are all over the place. I don't think I've seen the heard the eights fire very frequently. It has a satisfying thump to it. There we go, partial pen. Thirteen. Eight's got a hit in. like misses. Oh, it's okay. Penetration, 12 inch, mid deck. Took out our 7 inch. He's firing well. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 turrets per side. She has six inch back up. Three inch I can ignore. Range is three kilometers on our torpedoes. They're terrible. Over pen on the tower. Decent damage to it. There we go, destroyed a funnel. Started another fire. Oh, there is a penetration for ours. Deck again, which our deck is pretty weak. Destroyed the secondary tower on their ship. Did a penetration, bow belt extended. Our bow belt is pretty weak. Destroyed barbette. Not good. Get broadside. We're in deadly range now. One and a half kilometers. See if we can force our maneuver with a torpedo. Oh, that's so brutal. She's winning. Your numbers wise, she has. A better armor, actually, for the belt. There's our torpedo. She is actually maneuvering. There we go. Several good hits. 
We are highly on fire, that's a problem. Because if that spreads much more, we're gonna go down. Hey, there we go. Got her due to structural damage. Must have ammo reactor. I didn't get to see the log right there at the end. That was the power of Dreadnought. And Battlecruiser versus Dreadnought. Wow, that's amazing. We just walked through those. Our work in progress design a Dreadnought. Build a Dreadnought and destroy a small fleet of two battleships, two heavy cruisers, and two light cruisers. Dreadnought is a big ship that has plenty of large guns. We'll read the rest of that next time. We'll get 25 million to do it rather than the 20 million we had in this one. Get a little bit more time. Get a mix of things to choose from. But that is all the time I had available today. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for staying till the end. Please leave a comment. Let me know what you think. And I will see you next time. Take care.